Welch. And then he became Douglas Fairbanks, the founder of the Academy, right? She also, I'm sure many of you, can think about Carol Channing and Diamonds are a Girl's Best Friend. Talk about a character that lived forever in that actress. So I think that's really for the need of She was also known for her diligent work ethic. The woman got up at 5 o'clock and rode until 2 or 3 in the afternoon and then dealt with business. But, and she would tell people she didn't work very hard. It wasn't very hard at all. Think about that. So I think that's really beautiful. Um, I think it's important to think about all the literary friends she had. She was friends with Theodore Dreiser and Nigel Mangan. These are major names of their day. Interestingly enough, her name is still a little more famous than theirs are. So there's something about her work. Though people made fun of films and film writing, clearly she survived where some of their stuff isn't read that much anymore. And also she was a brilliant friend to the other women in the business. And we know that that's how everyone moves up in the world is by taking the next person below you and bringing them up, right? So she was friends with the young Ruth Gordon. Y'all don't remember when she was young, <laughs> but she was. And Anita was someone who helped her move forward in business. She was best friends with Helen Hayes, who many people remember. So the idea that she understood that sisterhood was the way to help everybody. So those are the reasons that I still admire Anita. Um, I always say that I met her when I was six years old, not in person, in her memoirs. And so if you haven't read a memoir of hers, you should, because they're funny and witty and teach us a lot about this time period. Um, and also we wrote about her in this book, which we will have for sale afterwards. There you go. <laughs> I'll teach time how to sell. Um, which was written by the first uh, inaugural students in our program about seven years ago. And there's a chapter on 25 different famous female screenwriters of that period. So if you're interested, we'll have some more of those in the lot afterwards. And we have three of the original authors of chapters are here with me tonight. So with that, I hope that everybody adores, if you haven't met any of these before, you will listen to her voice today and laugh. Have a great night.